Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Minecraft Survival Let's Play. In the last episode, if you missed it, I recommend watching it because it was a fun and I'd say a really good edited video from me. We built the starter tree house or the house in the tree or the tree in the house, whatever you'd like to call it. And it turned out to be one of my favorite builds in terms of detail it looked really good i was really proud of it i really liked using these blocks here the slabs it's little accents we had the roots going all the way down to the ground i was really in love with this build i want to keep doing more to this area today because we have a little bit of food sources popping up but we need a lot more farm action we have very little in terms of our farms and we need so much more we need cows we need leather because we need to enchant our armor soon and that's if this doesn't break on us and I'd like to keep our tools so today I'm gonna do a bunch of farm work and transforming most of this area over there and up to here my goal is to expand the wheat field out to here Expand the fields of these out to other spots as well. Maybe even moving them over there and Getting cow pens and maybe sheep and chicken I'll probably stay away from chicken, but I can definitely guarantee we're gonna try to find some cows and sheep Because I'd like to get some wool in the future and obviously we need the cows now So we have a lot to do. I'm gonna go and mine some of that good old dirty dirt because we need to completely transform this area and over here if we're going to get our goal for the wheat farm. Now that I have the supplies, the dirt needed, I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming. I'm, I don't want this sand here. The sand looks ugly. We need every ugly block out of here for what we need to do. I, I'll most likely keep some of the other items here come on course dirt there we go so i might keep stuff like these here just for aesthetic reasons because i think they they, they 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 help the detail of the area i'd say it's better having them than not having them if you know what i mean oh we were just one short come on but my goal is to get to all of this sandy area and cover it up for the most part we also get to collect sand this way for future projects so this part here i'm gonna go out to probably here my goal is to turn all of this into a, the wheat field so this is what i want to do but i'm gonna do a little bit of terraforming which shouldn't take too long and eventually so my very big goal with this here with this wheat field is being able to have a pathway go through it so aesthetically it looks good and it's a food source area. That would be cool. Okay, I got some materials here that I'm going to use as a outer wall for the basis of this build so what i'm going to do is an outer wall around the dirt sides the sections where it's next to the water just so it has a little bit more oomph to it that's what i got for these i'm trying to do as much detail with it because i i love i love i like my little bit of detail i like my little bit of detail so trying to just get it around see what we can do and see how good it can look because we can make this look really really good if we really want to trust me Okay, folks, we have our completed wheat field and 
we have a little area here you might be wondering what is this well if i'm correct there should be turtles down there oh man the turtles must have despawned oh well we can turn this into like another cool little area here in the future but we have the basic design of the wheat field finished i basically built to the land itself and did a little bit of terraforming when it comes to adding in the dirt and for the most part that looks it looks really really good i like the walls I like, uh, now it's on to the next part which i think what i'm gonna do is construct some area for cows i just need to find which spot i'm gonna place them okay i have decided a spot to put these cows they're gonna be up here on another rock we have our rock with our tree on it so i'm like why don't i just put this thing on a rock so we already have a pathway leading up here i'm basically just gonna build around the tree keep it within theme of what we have so far and just make a little pin around and uh-oh so for the pillars i'm gonna have some variation they're not all gonna be the same height the goal is just to make it look like a unique build in terms of what i want to do i want to make it kind of run down looking kind of overgrown and we're going to try to build in with a tree when possible so i'm gonna take this one out and then there and then this one should almost work let's do that yep there we go and that yep there nope there there we go so this is the basic design that i'm going to do and now i'm going to go and try to put walls around it so the animals can't make their way out as i look up a finished cow pen I was gonna just do fences all around the place, but I eventually just thought, okay, that's ugly. Not up to my standards. So I decided, well, you know what? Let's go and decorate this sucker and turn it into like a broken stump, kind of like that, keeping it within theme. And we have this kind of rock design going down. So I've extended the rock as well. As we head down here, you got a little bit right there. You have this weird design here that I came up with. And it does look like a stump that's just been left up there. And I'm really a fan of what we did with it. So now I need to get two cows over here so we can go and start breeding them. So that's gonna take me a bit. Come here, you little, yeah, yeah. Oh, you ain't gonna hook me. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Oh, there we go. So yes, I am under the water. Why? Well, I was looking for cows. I killed my second cow by accident. Oopsie daisies. But we picked up a glove, a cosmetic glove. So do you go here? You do. So what does this do for us? So it inc increases damage dealt by the wearer. That is really cool. So that makes our Eight attack damage to 12, if I'm correct. That is really cool. And we also had a chest down here. So let's get rid of you. Okay, that kind of sucked. I'm not going to pick that up because it's linking to the same one that I've already looted in this world. Yes, I did loot one off camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But... I think over here is the last one. So, yep, there we go. Curse of Hanajin. Not really a good enchant. Not really. Okay. Where's my... There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go back to fighting cows. Bro, what? Excuse me for one momento moment. Cowie cow, um, we might be raiding a ship. Huh. Well, I'm going to try to get up here. 
I think it's because we're in a boat why this is difficult. So you know what? We're gonna turn you around and turn you this way and then there. And I'm gonna try to get up here. Okay, I'm on the boat. Nothing with these, just a grindstone. I know the loot is gonna be down below. Is there anything gonna be in these? No. Okay, it's nighttime, but I finally have torches. Light her up. Oh, we have a regular skeleton. Okay, everything here good. Oh, that's a cool view. What do we have down here? Okay. Oh. Yep. Okay, upstairs. Deal with him. Recharge. There we go. All is now well with the world. Hopefully we don't have any more chests being destroyed because of jerks. Before we go over there and check what's there, I know there's somebody wanting to meet us in there. Yeah, we should be fine to go and explore this now. Which, what did we even have here? A golden apple, I'll take that. We'll take the iron, redstone. Yeah, we'll take the redstone. Oh yes, diamonds. That's worth our time. Be happy that we have diamonds. The more diamonds, the better, as I would say. In terms of torches, I'm not gonna go after any more torches. Golden apple, I'll take that. Oh no, no. Ooh. This is good. Dripping poison two. I don't know what this is for, but we'll take it anyway. You get out of here. We'll we'll, we'll take the gold. I'll, I'll 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 start taking the gold. Cause this is like too much gold to just pass her by. If you know what I mean. Anything else? No. I see chain armor. Which in my like that's a part of our goal. So if we can get a collect uh, a full collection of that armor That will complete a set of the goal that I set out with the series which is to get every piece of armor That we can get our hands on in the mod pack So I think we're good to start on chapter two here Which is clearing out this so we have a lot of enemies here that need killed first Looks like this is a more of a copper room. That's cool. That is cool to see. Anything hidden below the table? Nope. At least they're one shots. I don't know where they're spawning. But we need to get rid of them. And I love how these guys are just stuck for the most part. That's kind of funny. Now the problem is we're gonna have to try to get as close as possible to that spawner. If I'm correct, there should be some kind of ore room somewhere in here. Sorry I didn't get you the first time. It's gonna be the same here. Unless there it is, the ore room. Oh boy. We found it, we found the room. This was supposed to be a farming episode, but we had a little bit of an expedition. And oh my, you get out of here. You're ruining the moment. Okay, I got a couple of thumbnails in. We have a decent amount of items. A longbow. That sounds interesting. We'll leave the nuggets there, but oh my, look at the... So we have diamonds. We have a lot of emeralds. Oh, we have so much loot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring it all home. This is insane. We have so much gold, we don't even need to worry about the future. Which is absolutely mental. Okay. We're just gonna have to get rid of our seeds then. Like, I wasn't expecting to just need to be tossing all the seeds. But... I'm fine doing that if we're gonna get a bunch of ore. Sorry, sweet potatoes. I want the iron. 
Okay, a little bit of a problem when there's a crap ton over here. Okay, come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're making it difficult to walk. My, is that a, what? And there's a trident. I'm not taking the buried treasure. We already have a, a, the glove. I don't think we need that. You know what, we're closing the door on you. <laughs> and we're up to 10 diamonds and we're getting a diamond block. We can always get another ominous pet. We can get rid of you. There we go. Are these just... I think these are just normal. And there we go. We finally got the cows in the cow pen to finish this off, which this took a lot longer because I kind of detoured. I want the XP. I want the XP. Oh, no. There we go. Jack! there <laughs> it took me quite a while to actually get this part finished and get the cows here but we finally did it it's complete and we had a really successful episode in terms of loot as well so if you guys enjoyed today's episode i would consider subscribing because in a series is getting even more fun we have so much more loot soon we're gonna have to do a new set of armor I don't know if I'm going to craft the same set or if I'm going to do a new set entirely. We'll see. But we have so much loot where I could maybe do diamond armor, but I don't want to do diamond. I want to go and do more of the modded armor. So we might retire this set. And we have so much more. We are on our way. We are getting closer and closer to finishing our goal of the armory. All armor next episode we're going to be going to the nether which when we go to the nether we'll be able to get so many supplies to make the armor that we might be able to knock out a decent chunk starting in the next episode so i would consider subscribing for that we have so much planned for the series i have a mega base eventually planned and i really i really think you guys are going to enjoy it consider liking the video because liking always helps and comment down below Cow, cow diamonds. Yeah, doesn't make any sense, but sometimes it doesn't need to make sense for it to be fun. <laughs> I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.